January 26, 2015 meeting of the Environment and Public Works Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Baroff? Here. Mrs. Delahaney? Here. Chairman Marinetti? Here. Mr. Morelli? Here. Mr. Rocco? Here. Mrs. Stick? Here. Mr. Yolovich? Here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum? There is not. Is there anyone present who's not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? The next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. You have a December 16, 2014 minutes of the Environment and Public Works Committee before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. Referral 15-23. Moved by Legislator Delahanty, seconded by Legislator Yolovich. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 15-25, increase. Moved by Legislator Yolovich, seconded by Legislator Rocco. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Referral, Next item. Referral 15-27, increase in improvement of facilities. Moved by Legislator Rocco, seconded by Legislator Stick. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Referral 15-29, increase. Moved by Legislator Second. Stick, seconded by Legislator Delahanty. Any discussion? Yes, Legislator Barraff. Thank you. Um, through the chair of the administration, um, how old are the old tanks and how long were they expected to last? Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, the tanks are uh, roughly 10 years old. Um, we've also identified operational benefits with relocating the tanks and having two tanks at a different size uh, to provide greater operational flexibility as well as loading and uh, unloading the, um, the chemicals that are utilized for the solid handling process. Thank you. So through the chair of the administration, then they are not at the end of their lifespan. They still, they would still operate as effectively now, correct? Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, they are within a fairly aggressive environment. Uh, they are nearing the end of their, what I would characterize as their useful life. And coupled with the operational benefits of reconfiguring the tanks and relocating them uh, for improved access, uh, we've identified this as a priority project. Fair enough. And then through the Chair of the Administration, is there any possibility, and I, I realize now since we're nearing the end of their lifespan, not so, not so likely, but is it possible to recycle or sell these to a, another um, entity? Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, and I think you may have even seen these tanks on the tour yeah. down at the solid handling building that you took. Um, we may reuse the tanks uh, on site for other applications um, within the plant for uh, different purposes. Thank you. And then finally, through the Chair of the Administration, what's the lifespan of the new tanks, or the expected lifespan of the new tanks, I should say? Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, it could range from 10 to 20 years. Um, based on the chemicals and the use that could impact it either way. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 15-31. Moved by Legislator Delahanty, seconded by Legislator Yolovich. Any discussion? Yes, Legislator Brock. Thank you very much. Um, through the Chair of the Administration, uh, the improvements referenced in this uh, referral, are they going to be done entirely by the county DES or will we be outsourcing? Through you, Mr. Chairman, um, some of the work will be self-performed by DES crews. Um, others will be, uh, we'll utilize term contracts, and in some cases we actually may bid uh, the work itself. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 15-33, increase in improvement. Moved by Legislator Yolovich, seconded by Legislator Rocco. Any discussion? Yes, Legislator Barraff. 
Thank you. Uh, through the chain administration, I know um, that the stack is in fact obsolete and cannot be used anymore. I, I know that from a tour, in fact. Uh, my question is, if the stack were to be left up through the chair, um, is there a, a risk of, I don't know, why, why must we take it down? I mean, there must be some sort of risk associated, correct? Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, it, it isn't out of risk. Uh, it's really obsolescence. Uh, at one time, there were two stacks, mm -hmm. uh, and, and one stack has obviously has been removed. Um, we have other infrastructure, aging infrastructure that is obsolete. It's been decommissioned. Uh, we can repurpose that, uh, that space uh, at some point, but we felt it was prudent to um, begin to remove and salvage uh, and demolish uh, the aging infrastructure that we have there that's obsolete, that was part of the former solid waste management technology. Okay. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 15-35 includes some Moved by Legislator Rocco, seconded by Legislator Stick. Any discussion? Yes, Legislator Barak. Um, through the Chair of the Administration, if we uh, uh, manage to have financing become available through the New York State uh, Water Pollution Control Revolving Loan Fund, um, is that money something that we could get reimbursed, or we, do we need to find this out before authorizing any funding um, for this? Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, we do need to authorize the full amount. Uh, if we were successful in securing uh, that funding, it, it would be a, a reimbursement basis. Thank you. And then uh, through the Chair of administration, administration, just so I'm clear, if we did get that reimbursement, where would that reimbursement go to? Into the uh, general fund or would it go into the back into the DPW's funds? Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, we would pay off the uh, short-term notes. Okay. Thank you. Into large. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 15-37, increase in improvement. Moved by Legislator Stick, seconded by Legislator Delahanty. Any discussion? Legislator Brock. Yes, thank you. Um, through the chain of the administration, I just wanted to uh, note, and I will be voting in favor of this uh, referral as I have in the, uh, the other referrals for the uh, Rochester Pure Waters District, but I would point out that the end result of these uh, referrals that we are, are now voting on um, is going to result in, by the referral's own estimates, of approximately $8.60 per user um, per year uh, fee increase, and that's actually pretty extensive if you think about um, uh, the fees that we typically uh, hear about for um, the those who work the um, pure, pure Water Districts. And I didn't want, want that to be overlooked because the other referrals to the other districts, you know, um, Phil Ogden and, and others, you know, these are relatively minor amounts. But for the Rochester Pure Water District, all the fund, all the uh, um, outflow does go through there. So all the entire town would benefit from this uh, particular district. And it seems to me that um, we are adding up a, a hefty burden for the, uh, the rate users for the Rochester Pure Water um, District. And I just wanted to point that out because I added it up. I said, oh, it's 46 cents here. It's a buck 20 there, another 46 cents. It adds up. And that's something that we just should be paying attention to as legislators as we move forward. Because this is something that, from the ratepayer's point of view, it's all going to be one fell shot. They're not going to get a $0.46 cent increase. They're getting an 860 increase. I just want to point that out. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 15-39, authorized. Mm -hmm. Moved by Legislator Delahanty, seconded by Legislator Yolovich. Any discussion? Legislator Moroni. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, through you to the administration, um, I, I note that uh, see that this project um, or the purchase of this uh, property um, was before the Monroe County Airport Authority um, last week. Um, I just want to know if there was um, if there was any objection to this purchase at that time to the administration. Through you, Mr. Chairman, no, there was no discussion. Thank you. And uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, can you, uh, can the administration um, tell us exactly why this property is being purchased? Th through the chair, the airport master plan indicates that this property is in the runway protection zone for runway 10 
28, and uh, it is, and, and since runway protection zones and runway safety areas are a priority for the FAA, uh, and the property became available, that is why uh, the authority has decided that this is in the best interest of the airport. Review, Mr. Chairman, to the administration. Uh, I believe that this was discussed um, when previous properties were being um, acquired. Is this property that then could be turned into airport parking lot? Through the chairman, uh, this particular property would not be uh, usable in, in that pur for that purpose. Follow up to that, Mr. Chairman. Any particular reason why it wouldn't be wouldn't be able to use it? Through the chairman, uh, it's in a residential area and uh, the location. Very good. And um, through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration, can you tell us what the assessed value of this property is? Uh, through the chair, the current assessment is $69,000. All right, thank you very much. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. <coughs> Next item. Referral 15-47, authorized Moved by Legislator Yolovich, seconded by Legislator Rocco. Any discussion? Yes, Legislator Morelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Through you to the administration, uh, can you explain why this is uh, uh, an, a matter of importance? Through the chairman, when the uh, this was introduced in the legislature, the, the uh, legislature had yet to approve the term contract with the consultant, and uh, that's why. And we're getting to the point where we need to do the engineering for construction season uh, coming up. Thank you, and um, I through you, Mr. Chairman, is the grant a reimbursement or um, does the county get the money up front? Through the chair, the FAA grants are typically reimbursement and uh, are at 90% of the project cost. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Setting it down. Next item. Referral 15 48. Moved by Legislator Rocco, seconded by Legislator Stick. Any discussion? Legislator Morell. Mr. Chairman, uh, through you to the administration, I would again ask why uh, this is a matter of importance. Through this, Chairman, the exact same reason. And uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, does being a quote unquote designated airport consultant mean that you wouldn't need to go through an RFP process? Through the chairman, the term engineers or consultants for the authority are chosen through an RFP process of which we had 10 respondents and the field was narrowed to four and the term engineers selected by the authority were and approved in the legislature were then uh, the two term consultants. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 15-49. Moved by Legislator Stick, seconded by Legislator Delahanty. Any discussion? Legislator Morelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is a matter of importance for the same reason as the last two. Is that correct, through you? Through the Chairman, that's correct. Excellent. And um, through you to the administration, is there a reason that this wasn't part of the capital budget? Through the Chairman, the capital budget for the county is prepared almost 18 months prior to the capital budget that we submit to the Federal Aviation Administration. Priorities change throughout the year and also, uh, th well, throughout the, 
even within a year as far as the FAA's um, authorization to spend monies. Now, it doesn't apply to this particular project because this particular project is funded with passenger facility charge uh, dollars. Once again, though, the FAA had to improve, approve, and the legislature also had to approve our passenger facility charge program. And the alignment of the two budgets, the Monroe County's capital improvement budget and the FAA budget, uh, well, they're not aligned with one another. So from time to time, what you'll see is uh, projects in our capital improvement program that maybe were programmed in another year, but because of FAA, FAA priorities would shift either a year earlier or a year later or not at all. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Are there any other matters to come before the committee? There being no other matters, the January 26, 2015 meeting of the Environment and Public Works Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting is December 23, 2015 at 6 p.m.